Here with John Hodges talking about Larson trusses on his new house. John, tell me about the Larson trusses. Okay, so here we're building uh, what we call a uh, almost passive house or a nearly passive house. The idea being that we create a very, very tight envelope that we super insulate. Um, the trouble with that always is controlling of humidity and moisture. So in this case, what we do is we place the vapor barrier, which is this sheet of plywood, at the two-thirds, one-third point. And we have a two by six wall on the inside, standard stud framing, which is right on the concrete and uh, supported, just very, very simple. And then on the, on the outside, what we call the outboard insulation, which is in line with uh, 12 inches of styrofoam base on a slab on grade from Ligolet Forms. And uh, these are basically TG TGIs, so they're 11 and 7 eighths. They get mounted and screwed into the, the studs on the inside wall so that it's very, very solid. Wherever there's a joint, we put on this uh, high performance tape. In this case, it's Texton Vanna, which is designed for going over flat surfaces. Um, and wherever there isn't a joint, we actually put acoustic sealant behind and stuck it on. So there's a series of nails that are there. So we sort of try to, uh, uh, to guarantee that there'll be few, as few as leaks as possible. The thing, this is gonna be uh, filled with uh, dense packed cellulose, so there'll be a netting, and then there'll be this kind of a, um, a sheathing on the outside. This is Eco 4 sheathing. It's uh, basically a structural 10 test, an inch and a half thick. So that will give some structural support to this wall, because these things themselves are not structural. And then there'll be um, a high performance uh, uh, house wrap, WRB, uh, weather barrier on the outside and then furrings and then whatever siding we choose to put on. The idea, the basic idea is that we have this super well sealed house that of course is going to be ventilated with a, a good quality ERB, but if there is any humidity that gets in the wall, on the outside it can breathe out and on the inside it can breathe in. There's no vapor barrier on the inside wall, the vapor barrier is in the center of the wall, actually at the two thirds point. So essentially what we've created is this envelope and if you want to step inside you'll see the envelope is continuous up to the uh, supported vapor barrier ceiling. In this case, this is an Enermax, but you could use plywood. And uh, we double fur this so the electricians will never, go, nobody's going to go up in the attic. There'll be no holes into the attic with the exception of the vent and the rail-on stack. And uh, wires will be woven through that in order to create uh, the electricity for the kitchen and for the living room. So that's the short and sweet version of the nearly passive house.